through to Sapphire. Good evening, everyone, and thank you all for coming along. It's wonderful to see so many people out on a Friday evening. Uh, you may uh, recognise me, I'm usually on the news about this time of the day, but uh, I've been given a day off to come and see you and have a bit of fun. Now, one of the other things I like to do, and uh, Councillor Jane Grew will tell you she's known about this for many years, is um, I like to sing a little song, which I don't get to do very often on the news. And you often don't get to see me in full length, so look, I do have legs. Usually from here up, which is very good thing. Very good thing. So we're going to sing a little song for you. Now, this is a song, I do apologise to all the men in the room. This is very much a, I'm a woman, we are so good song. But we do love men, there is nothing wrong with men. We do adore you. But this is a song that was sung by one of the great female role models of our time, Miss Piggy. It's just a bit of fun. Kristen, if you please. Wash and rinse out 44 pairs of socks and have them hanging on the line. I can starch and iron two dozen shirts before you can count from one to nine. I can take a handful of dripping from the dripping can. Throw it in the skillet, go out and do the shopping, be back before it melts in the pan. Cause I'm a The baby grease the car and still get to work on time. Get dressed and party till 4 a.m. and then lay down at 5, jump up at 6 and start all over again. Cause I'm a Kiss you and give you the shivery fits Cause I'm a woman W-O-M-A-N I'll say it again I can stretch a five dollar bill from here to Kingdom Come Play the numbers, pay the bills Still ain't nothing done I got a twenty dollar gold We said there ain't nothing I can't do I made a dress out of a feedback I can make a man out of you Cause I'm a woman W-O-M-A-N And that's all See you soon for the debate, the great debate Remember which side I'm on, we can have it all Wonderful. I'm sure we'll be able to find you in the debate with those gorgeous blue shoes on. Thank you very much, Katrina Zaffa. Now I have to introduce a very funny lady, um, and there's a little blurb on her here. Mandy Nolan, she is our adjudicator for the great debate. Now Mandy Nolan, it's written here, has performed as a stand-up comedian for 27 years. She is a writer, a social provocateur. Her humour is sharp, honest, sometimes self-depreciating, somewhat outrageous, but never cruel or pretentious. Please now put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Mandy. Oh. Thanks, um, yeah, if you're hoping for something cruel and pretentious, you're in the wrong place. Uh, we'll come back a bit later, I'll have a go at that. Hello? Hello. Oh, look at you all just checking you out. Oh, just checking myself out. Uh, my name is Mandy. I am, I don't know what I am. I'm, I'm, I'm a mother actually, five. They're in the car. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, girls, you've got to take what time you can sometimes. Oh, it's exhausting. It's, it's funny, I am, um, I was actually, you know, I, I, I do have a lot of kids and it's funny, I get really annoyed at those first time pregnant women. You know, you go, oh God, he's a cute little baby. 
just sweet little baby bump. I had one come up to me the other day and she goes, wow, it looks like you're further along than we are. <laughs> and I said, yeah, my son's 10. <laughs>
months. But one time, was it having a baby? Go, no, not now. <laughs>
you get treated very differently as a woman, particularly in a shopping environment. You know, I was actually shopping for my daughters for their, they had the end of school form. And I was looking, you know, they're all really petite girls looking for these little sort of size eight and ten dresses. And I'm looking in this very expensive shop, praying mad to someone at the counter. Like, <laughs> one of those wobbly headed women, you know. <laughs> you know, young, but not looking at me because clearly I was lost on the way to Rockman's or something. <laughs> I don't get acknowledged. You know, you become invisible. I went, no, I'm going to tell you, I've actually got money. Those young skinny girls, they've got nothing. They're shoplifting. I'm going in. So I take the dress into the change room and suddenly, praying that. And I'm like, yeah, oh no, I've got to put it on. Because you've got to come out, you commit, you've got to go through with stuff. You can't just come out and go, oh, Joe. So I get in. I'm Ripping out your well, how about this one of those other mirror out there for one tip hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> Bottom lights in it, so I'm just turning around. Suddenly she's going, Can I help you? Can I help you? I go, Yes, actually. Do you have this in a six? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so enjoyable. I love doing that. It is. It's amazing what you do, too. So, like, oh, every day, though, as a mother, every day I wake up. And I think today I'm going to be a nice person, right? <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't do it. Last about ten minutes, then I'm gone. <laughs> it's so full on. It's terrible because you know you, you just try. You know, as you do every day. And you know, I should warn you. I might have a few things which are adult, and it will be through the night. But <laughs> sorry, kids, I've wrecked mine. I'll have it on yours. <laughs> but every day you want, I do try the no mind thing, where you actually have to get into a really good place. So you don't get angry. Have you tried meditation? Yeah. Oh, how boring is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, that's ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm really agitated trying to get the no mind. And but don't do meditation. Masturbation much fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a health tip. Uh, isn't that true? I can reach that, that relaxation in a minute. <laughs> Unless my husband's then it could take up to two hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, I, I in the morning, because every day my kids act like the whole concept of getting up to a brand new idea, right? Like I've never happened before. So I'm like, oh, you didn't know, 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 you
flipping out. If at this point I realise I've missed the bus, right? I don't want to get angry. I'm like, get in my car! <laughs> now, it wasn't that bad. You know, men and children know, never get in the car with an angry woman. Is that true? Because you know what we like to do. We like to tell you how you wrecked our lives. <laughs> It just comes out. It is, it is weird. 